Good morning guys, welcome to What I Ate Wednesday. Today I am starting my day off with coffee and oatmeal. So the coffee is made in the Keurig but just the reusable K-Cup. It is this chocolate peanut butter cup coffee. And of course the picture looks amazing. It's like Reese's Pieces there. And in the store I smelled it and it also smelled really good. You could taste, you could smell a little bit of chocolate and the peanut butter. Um, when I taste it, I don't taste any of those flavors. It's good, it tastes like, well, it's not pure coffee, and then I also put almond milk in it, but it's it's definitely not chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> uh, but that, that's okay, I still have it. Um, and then I have oatmeal, a little runny oatmeal. I did a little extra milk than usual. Um, and then I put some cinnamon in it, just to getting those fall flavors in. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's gonna be my breakfast. It's about 10.30 now and I'm just having an apple just to tie me over to lunchtime and just out with the dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For lunch I have chili and just a piece of bread. The chili I made, well, a long time ago. And, well, not, not a long time ago. But I made on, I think, like Thursday or Friday, or Friday, I think. And I made tons because I had all the beans on sale. So there was um, the beans that you saw in my grocery haul. So black beans, white um, kind of leany beans, and a uh, kind of six bean or five bean mixture, as well as I put some zucchini in it and carrots, and then texturized vegetable protein, TVP. Um, and a whole bunch of tomato sauce and oh a little bit of frozen corn too um and then i'm just having it with a piece of sunflower seed bread other times when i've made it because i made so many leftovers plus i freeze the whole bunch too so other times i made this into garlic bread but actually this is a new bread that dan got so it's good on its own versus before i just had I don't know, some of the ciabatta breads in the freezer. So anyways, this is good on its own, so I'm just going to eat it like that. And the chili is a little bit more liquid because I added some water when I was reheating it. So, okay, I'm going to see what the dogs are up to outside. It's going crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have lunch. Off to work now, and I have my pure peppermint mint tea um, that I'm taking. And this week we're starting Halloween material in grammar class. So I have my earrings, my little ghost earrings, but yeah, we have our Halloween or October concert in just a couple weeks, so start preparing for that, so yay in the festive mood, uh, but the not that has anything to do with my tea, but just wanted to point out my earrings. So I'm home from work, and for dinner I think we're gonna make burgers. I don't have any um, homemade burger, so I'm going the quick and easy route because I only have about 45 minutes till I have to go to dance class. Um, the pre-made Eve's kale and quinoa burger, I think it is. I'll double check, but they're actually very good. Um, anyways, and then with that I have a zucchini, so I'm going to make zucchini fries. Um, but I don't have, um, any panko or any breadcrumbs, but we have some stale Sociables crackers. Not the healthiest because, yeah, those are also processed, but I'm just going to smash the crap out of them and that's gonna be my breadcrumb. And then I have an egg, some hot sauce, and some milk. And I'm just gonna stir that a little bit more. And then I have my beautiful breadcrumbs. Yay! Pretty good, a great way. And I mean, those have just been sitting for about a month open because none of us wanted to eat it. Um, and then let's see, spices, I'll put some smoked paprika. And what else would be good? Garlic powder. Onion powder. Take the other side of this just to stir that around. Yeah, that looks good. So now I'm going to cut my zucchini. So now I have the zucchini that I cut and I peeled it. So I'm going to put it first in the egg milk mixture and then in the weird, or the breadcrumbs, not weird breadcrumbs, just breadcrumbs. Just like that. And then putting it on a pan that I just sprayed. So this is what they look like now. I'm going to put them in the oven. I think it's set to like 400, so that's going to be hot. So I changed my mind. We decided not to have the burger because, I don't know, there's enough breading and I had bread for lunch, so I didn't really need a burger. Anyways, so this is what I have. Uh, salad with cucumbers, 
um, red peppers and onions and then the zucchini fries and then the sauce was actually a salad dressing that we made a couple days ago it is an imitation on like a ranch I guess um, there was sour cream had a little bit of chopped onions um, oregano paprika because I like everything spicy um, some onion powder garlic powder mm. Dill. We didn't have dill, but anyways, it was just oh and some lemon juice and a little bit of herb infused olive oil as well So anyways, that's instead of being the salad dressing So I'm gonna have pear walnut salad dressing right now, but that's gonna be my dipping sauce So that's my dinner. So I'm back from dance and we're just having some strawberry orange pico tea just plain and I think two weeks ago. I finally got myself a teapot um, and It's so cute. It's made to look like it's wearing like a knit cozy, but yeah, it's just like that. It doesn't pour the best, if some dribbles down, but it's really cute. So, I'm gonna have that for an evening, not snack, but an evening beverage. <laughs> and that's gonna be it tonight. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week, bye.